This guy right here, bro, is the best trader I've ever seen in my entire life. And over here is me, a herb, just dressed as SpongeBob. <laughs> the guy didn't dress up? No, no one dressed up. I was the only guy that dressed up. <laughs> <laughs> I just released another live trading video for the lifetime members. So what I've been doing, bro, a lot of people have been asking for more live trading videos. So I've been recording my screens and recording live trades. And every Thursday I'm releasing live trades. And so far I have $145,000 live trade, a $3,000 live trade and a $17,000 live trade. So for you, that's been paper trading. That's like trying to learn. You should be digging into these live trading videos, George, because it's showing you exactly like how I'm trading. So look, there's, Bed Bath & Beyond example. Something that you have. You know, you'll see my trades live. You'll see everything. All I'm doing is playing that's the nice. chart. I want to be able to. And I explain the trade. So that's going to be for lifetime members. But anyway, be honest, bro. To be honest, there's really not much moving today. It's looking like a slower day because all the money and all the attention is on the big stocks, the large cap stocks. Right. So it might end up being a slow day, but regardless of slow or hot, I'm sure we'll find something to trade. Well, let's see, bro. We got about 12 minutes till the open. Right. But today, all went up, huh? today's Apple dividend day. So what that means, if you hold Apple stock, they give you a dividend. Today, Warren Buffett got $280 million in cash from Apple for his dividend. Wow. Yeah. Must be nice to be rich, that's dude. Unbelievable. Must be nice to be rich. Oh, we got a stock that's getting pumped right now. Uh, so now DBGI is um, at that $6 line. So I'm trying to add some more. And now we're just gonna try to add some more to this uh, pump and dump, dude. Yeah. I'm trying to add some more. Beautiful entry at six, dude. Beautiful entry. Yeah, that's great. All right, that's one minute to open. One minute to open. We got this pump and dump that we're looking to short around the $6 whole dollar line. Uh, planning on adding some more at the open. I mean, that's pretty much it, bro. So let's see if we get a good trade on this thing. The market's still slow, but looking good. Yeah, all we need is a couple hundred bucks, bro. Let's just make a little bit of money today. Yeah. Just a little bit is all we need. It's 30 seconds into the open. If this thing just collapses out of the open, I'll try to take some of my position off for a profit. If it bounces at the open, then I'm going to look to um, add some. Right. Two markets open. Okay. I'm adding some more DVGI. Got it at six. Adding some more. Ideally, we want to see it under 570. Come on, 580. 570, 550. Oh, man. Oh, man. Come on, a little bit more. Let's go a little bit lower. 560. Let's see that. This candle is now showing us that $6 is very clearly the top. So, so long as $6 does not reclaim, it should break down. And on this next breakdown, I'm going to take my profit. Perfect. Have you noticed that when it hits the VWAP, it really crashes? Like, like the VWAP is very important. Right? It's a very important level, yeah. The, the VWAP that is pre-market and then the regular, you know, the VWAP that's... Uh, yes. I mean, is there an indication between those or is it just the same thing? It kind of like... Well, it's just it just gives you more areas of interest. Okay. But for now, bro, I got an easy trade. Yeah. Easy. Right. Let's just try to make money on this stock. Let's see if I can add some more. 550. Come on. Go down. 540. Come on. A little bit lower. There it is. Come on, get it out, 36. Come on, come on, almost there. I'm trying to get it out, 36. Okay, I got out of most at 36 and now it bounced. So I got 1,800 shares left. I'm gonna just try to get out of these at 41. I'm almost out of this DBGI. I got 800 shares of DBGI, so I'm just gonna get out of DBGI so I could call it a day on that stock. That's done. So DBGI, we made 3,800 bucks. DBGI, just run me through that. So I see some of the markers. So yeah, this stock, DBGI, was a pump and dump in the morning. It had a resistance at 610. And basically what I did is I just shorted that $6 line. And boom, it's probably going to go lower without me. So what I want to know is that first um, that first hit, you, I think you, you did about 400 shares. Yes. Then the second hit. Yes. How many? Uh, like a thousand shares. Okay, and then you ended up, because you ended up having like a bunch, like yeah. thousand shares with it? Yep. I got a bunch when the stock just had its death candle, and then I added even more. Oh, so you added more uh, because you knew it was broken and yep. low VWAP broke. It's a massive death candle. Right. As extended as it was to the upside, now it's extended to the downside. Right. And I think that because the CPI numbers are good, because the inflation numbers are good, they'll try to bounce this stock. 
Ideally, we want to see it, you know, above 185. If we see it above 185, then that's a good sign. Where is it? Where's the line where you call quits? Where's the uh... probably under 180. If it breaks under 180, I'd be like, you know what, something's wrong here. Was that the close of the day last uh, yesterday? Yeah, close of the day was 178, and like 180 over here is like the last support. Right. Okay. All large caps pretty much work the same. Man. Yeah, they all move together. Oh, we all went up. They're all going down a little bit now. Uh, yeah, they all move together. This MSGM, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna short on the on halt. I might. This MSGM is bouncing, so I'm trying to short some. Okay, so I short this MSGM here. We're at 10. MSGM, MSGM, MS, MSGM. 5,000. See if I can get some more MSGM. Oh, fing sh. Look at that, bro. No, not enough. I don't have enough. I shorted at 975. It's at 850. You're saying you didn't, you didn't put it I want to do more, bro. I only have a thousand shares. I made a dollar a share. Oh, my God. I don't know what to do, bro. I gotta add this. Shit. It's not like I can't add it. It's gonna halt. That was too slow, bro. There's too much happening. Yeah. Whatever, I'm just gonna take it. Oh, I couldn't take it, it halted. Okay, well. All is good though. It's good, I wanted more, bro. I want a yeah, more. I got a thousand the, shares. The odds right now after a halt is just gonna crash? Yeah. So, so far, bro, we're doing really good. Yeah, great. It's a good day. Wow, look at Tesla, bro. <laughs> now 187. Wow. Ah, right idea, bro, right idea. Fing shit execution. Right, but you took the you took the profits. So. Now I'm looking at HUDI, trying to get some more. It's all right. Stick to the plan, bro. We got this HUDI shorting the ten dollar line. A lot of shit happening today, bro. A lot of shit happening. It's a good day. Just, come on, come on. That's exactly what we want. Come on. Oh man. What is the line? Nine sixty is the line. Come on, cuz, come on. HDI hot chick? It's moving pretty quick. Um, to be honest, bro, there's not really any hot chicks. I think VERU, look, this VERU is the hot chick. Okay. That? You're not really focused on that, huh? No. But this MSGM, bro, I was trying, bro, I was one second away from adding it. Wow, look at this, bro. This is DBGI. This is the stock we traded. Collapsed. Dead. F yeah. So my plan is MSGM when this opens up, I'm just going to exit my position and HUDI, I'm looking for a dip to exit as well. So you want to try and add like as soon as it opens, right? Like, no. Nah. That's like too hard, right? It's already down, bro. It's already down. I shorted at nearly 10 bucks. Right. So my entry is perfect, bro. I just, if I got a little bit more, bro, I would have banked. I would have made so much money. You're still making a lot of money. <laughs> it's, it's all right. At the end of the day, bro, it's not really about being perfect. It's about taking some profits and playing with house money. That's all it is, bro. You gotta you just take your profits. Confidence. If you are able to take your profits, bro, nothing's ever gonna go wrong. The problems occur when people don't take their profits. In other words, get greedy. Yeah. Oh, this MSGM opened up. Whoa, Whoa that's weird. Whoa. That's weird. What's going on? I don't like that. No, I don't like that. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the f Let's see what it does. Not worth the ad? I don't know, I'm not gonna add. Oh, it's going down again? Yep, there it is. Let's see. I don't know, George. You know what, cuz? I think I'm just gonna get out because yeah. it doesn't feel right. Yeah. It you doesn't feel right. To go today. It doesn't feel right, I'm trying to get out. Come on, bro, go the f down. Well, it sucks. It's a good plan, guys. It's a good plan. Yep. So I'm out of this MSGM, bro. Made right. made three hundred seventy two dollars. Yeah, it's fine. Doesn't they? It doesn't feel right to me, dude. And it might just crash. It might just fucking tank. But like, for me, bro, when a stock doesn't feel right, when I don't feel comfortable in a stock. That to me tells me that it's all right. Just get out. Yeah. Bro, thousand dollars is not gonna change my life. But 
the stress, the headache, the pain, that's gonna give me something I don't wanna deal with. Right. I want this HUD high to go down, bro. It's so close. It's so close. So we still in? HUD high, what else? That's it. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Whoa, whoa. Trying to get out? 720? Come on, it's 920. Give it to me, bro. Look at these entries, bro. Look at these fing entries. That's the sexiest thing I've seen, bro. Come on. 920. 12,000 shares left. Just get me out, bro. Just get me out. Uh, you know what, cuz I'm gonna move it. I'm moving to 940. MSGM is halting down now. Fucking mother. F it's a good day, George. A good day, finally. But Some you know, fucking money. You know what this shows me? You're up a lot, and you made, you know, you didn't make the perfect moves. You know, you could have kept in MSGM and made some more, you know, and, and you're still up a lot. So. Bro, I am not a perfect trader, bro, by any sense right. of the word. I am not perfect. What I'm really good at, bro, is picking stocks. Stock selection is what I'm really good at. Right. And that's why I'm in charge of making the watch list. Almost out. We got a thousand shares left, George. But shows people, you know, you can do it. You just gotta. Stick you see, it, bro. Sometimes getting tested. We're trading yeah. Tesla. We're trading this. We're trading yeah. that. I'm drinking coffee. We're doing this, that. Yeah. They're pumping this. <laughs> like, there's a lot of shit happening, bro. There's a lot of shit happening. But if you do it right, bro, like, look, we shorted the ten dollar line here. You know what I'm saying? We shorted the ten dollar line. I use whole and half dollar marks. Okay, I'm out. So let's add up the money today, bro, because I'm done trading for the day. Three seven nine three twenty four from DBGI. Tesla, 509.56. HUDI, $10,346.51. And MSGM, 372.94. And it is 10 o'clock. That's it. Look at that shit, bro. Look at that shit. Unbelievable. That's it. Oh my god. Oh you my see, god. bro? You see? I f so oh my, 8.30. Oh my one dude! Is it gonna hold? Oh yeah. Did it just hold? Bro, if I waited literally two more minutes, I could have made another fifteen thousand. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Plus fifteen thousand, bro. Don't say oh my god. <laughs> Close this god camera, bro. I'm done trading, bro. I'm pissed now. I'm pissed. <laughs> Ah... Uh.